What's up everybody? So today the video I am doing is going to be another Forza video on the 1972 Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL. Um, to be quite honest with you, I don't know too much about Mercedes, but the first run through I'm going to do is just the basic stock car. No, no upgrades whatsoever. I'm going to uh, try to get it to its top speed and everything. And sorry if I'm kind of quiet, but my son is sleeping, so I'm trying not to wake him up. So yeah, sorry about that. Also, I don't think I have traction control on. That's why I, I burned out a little. Um, this car's stock is not that great, but the ending swap I put in it later in the video is pretty good, and um, I don't completely upgrade the uh, the stock engine just because um, the other engine was better. I, it was it was quite a bit better, and I just wanted to see what it'd do in this car. Um, I honestly don't know too much about Mercedes, so I don't know any of their history, anything, but I, I can tell you from the interior views on this car, it was probably a pretty goddamn nice car back in the day, and probably still is now, I mean, um, I know Forza doesn't do the best job of showing how a car looks in the interior, but from what they did in this, uh, this car, I think it looks pretty nice, so, if I remember correctly, it, this car was the car in the Hangover? Just a guess. I'm pretty sure this was the exact car, or pretty damn close. Um, that's that's the main thing I, I remember when I see this car is the Hangover and just how I just you, everyone's seen the Hangover. That's all I have to say. But this car is extremely slow. Um, like the zero to sixteen, zero to hundred times slow, and I don't remember what this thing. I don't remember what this thing tops out at, but I think, as you can see, I just quit, so it must have just topped out at uh, about 120, maybe, and I wasn't too impressed. But you can't expect much from an old car like that, but now I'm going to put the new engine in it, and people might be mad that I'm putting this engine in it, and I don't know if it's a realistic engine swap, I highly doubt it. but. I swapped the engine to the twin turbocharged V12. I mean, how how can you resist that? And then all-wheel drive makes it a million times better. Um, I did put the little front bumper on. It's not really a bumper. It's just like some things with the lights, and then uh, upgrade everything else. Pretty much, yeah. That's what I'm doing right now is just upgrading everything and. Uh, just doing a quick upgrade so I'm not like looking through everything seeing which thing's the best or whatever I just want to get everything done so it's not a long video I didn't want to do too much editing on this because I've been uh, letting this sit for like a couple weeks and I've been meaning to do this video because somebody asked me to do it so now I'm actually gonna finally do it um, I guess I've just been busy is the reason why I've been doing like too many videos so I'll try to just keep doing them and maybe do videos ahead of time. Uh, I know a lot of the videos on my channel probably aren't too exciting like the uh, Resident Evil videos or whatever, but tomorrow I'm going to have some more Forza stuff because there's another car pack coming out and um, there's a few, actually a few good cars in that, so I'll probably do, depending on which cars are in the pack, um, I'll probably do one or two videos on, on these cars. I check and see which cars are coming out just because I don't remember and I have like 4,000 um, Microsoft points so I want to get this or is it for May car pack that's what I'm gonna look up I know there's like the pacer in there and yeah I'm not I don't really care about the pacer but there is the Hennessy Venom GT yes that's a fast car I know that much um, there's a 2012 Chrysler SRT8, the Smart, oh, I didn't know they are putting that in this, but yes, they're putting the Smart car in this, Mitsubishi Galant, 
the 92, 1966 Lotus Cortina, 2012 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, or Ru I have Rubicon, that's how I, I don't know. And then a 2011 Ford Transit Super Sport van. It looks kind of cool. It should be fun to drive. Um, a 1990 Subaru Legacy and the 77 AMC Pacer. Yeah. So I'll be bringing probably a few videos of those in the future. Most likely I'll do the the Hennessy Venom. Um, yeah. See how much faster this car is now? But I'm going to be doing the Hennessy Venom and probably I want to do the van and probably the smart. Oh yeah, I roll it pretty nice. So <laughs> I guess I was going too fast, but that was the point. I'm pretty sure I ruined the paint job and everything, but this thing's pretty fast now. It's not realistic. I'm pretty sure. I don't think you can swap it. Well, I guess with any amount of money you can do anything. So. It probably is a realistic swap because I bet with the amount of money I could put the engine in my car that I own into my girlfriend's car if I had the right amount of money. Which would be pretty fun to put a North Star V8 into a little Suzuki Reno. Pretty sure it's possible. I've seen videos on YouTube where somebody put a. What was it? I don't even know. A huge Chevy engine into a little Ted Cadillac I have. I thought that was pretty cool, and they made it rear wheel drive instead of front wheel drive. Yeah, this car tops out, I think, pretty close to 200 miles an hour, so it's extremely fast. It's um, one thing I really like about it, I actually need this car quite a bit. And yeah. Let's see if I can show up, because that's a few minutes. Just a few minutes, I, I mess around a little bit with it. And I'm pretty sure I roll it again up here. And uh, that's the only thing I don't like. If you turn too fast, like if you're going too fast and you turn, you're going to flip. But I guess that happens in quite a few cars on speed. Oh, wait. Top speed is over 200. That 235, 36. That's pretty fast. Um, that's the only thing I roll it up. I don't mind when you're doing something. Ford's been out for a while. Ford's important. I like how that you can look into the rear, rear, rear view mirror and then the, uh, the other little mirrors and uh, see behind you. Yeah, don't ask me what I'm doing. I'm just messing around, ruining the car. But I'm gonna end this video here. <coughs> Sorry. But yeah, I got the video here. I'm going to be. You guys can probably hear the car sound in the background. That's weird. Really cool. Yes, they're, they're going. To I'm going to be doing. For sure, I'm going to be doing the Win GT. I'll put that out. And then I have. Some other stuff that is like. Yeah. It'll be a surprise, but okay, I'm gonna end this this commentary here and I'll see you guys next time.